We on case? We're on. Right. You know why I actually want to do that? I wonder if anybody else is having the same issues, which is um, during this pandemic, getting pop, getting the pop that you want in the containers that you want. Now, God forbid anyone should think I'm complaining about yeah, this. We're the victims. Yeah, here. given the fact that, you know, so many people have died and so many people's lives have been devastated. So I'm not saying that this is even a bad thing. I'm just sort of acknowledging the fact that when you get the good stuff, like the caffeine-free Diet Coke, and you get it in the big bottle. No, you want it in the can. Well, the can hasn't been available forever, and now the bottles are... Uh, uh, January 3rd, 2021, Daily Lands Blog. Uh, I can make this quick. Yesterday I said that I would try to give you some guidance if you were to calculate how many bad days you had last year. As you know, I have done it with this arm. 53 bad days and I did it with this arm. It's fading a little bit here. I should yeah, get... Are you ever going to wash that off? Or... I'm, I'm thinking of remarking it. You know, it's a conversation starter. You know, I'm like when I'm riding in the in the streetcar. Uh, well, you remember when we were in the streetcar case? Yeah, but let's get to the point. Okay, so here's the point. The point is that I asked you to consider how many bad days you had last year. Now, you're never going to be able to come up with the exact number, but an estimate. I mean, whether it's 30 or 35 or whether it's 50 or 55, I don't think it's relevant. If it's 200 or 220, that's not relevant either. It doesn't matter. There's no difference between the two. But I said that I would, I would tell you, okay, what are the numbers that are significant? And I thought a lot about that, and I actually had it drawn up that, you know, 0 to 40 is acceptable, 40 to 80 is pretty good. But the truth is, the fact is, it does not matter what I think. It's what you think. Because if you're coming off a year of having, you know, basically the whole year being bad for you, and the next year you say, well, you know, I had 100 bad days. That could be a wild success. So here's, here's to me, and you've heard me say this before. To me, there's one question that you have to ask yourself. And it's really simple. And it goes like this. Would I be satisfied to live the rest of my life the way I have felt over the past year? And if the answer is, well, you know, like obviously there's, there's, two, uh, there, there's two answers only, but there's different variations on how you would say them. So the first answer is, yeah, I'd be willing to live the rest of my life the way I felt this past year. And uh, that actually is my answer. No, I wouldn't be allowed to, I wouldn't be happy to live the rest of my life the way I feel. Now think about what that statement is. That statement is saying, you know, maybe I'm not as bad as I've ever been in my life. But if I consider where I spent the past year, I want something better. I need something better. And the realization of that is so important. It's so important to be able to say, you know, I'm not satisfied with where I am. I mean, no, one, no one's saying that, that perfection is out there. No one's saying that you can go a year without having a mark on your arm or having 50 marks on your arm. That's not the point. The point is, given your life, given your experience with the illness, are you satisfied with where you are over the past year? Answer that question, sicknowweek.com, 24 hours a day, 364 days a year. Why are we here, Case? Because you need to be the mental health guide for I, people. I need to be the mental health guy like for people? guide. Guide. And guy. And guy. Or, well, we don't use those terms anymore, do we? Gender fluid. Also, the swoop isn't swooping today. You know, here's my promise to you tomorrow. The swoop will be the swoopiest swoop you have ever seen. You should put it in like a curler. You help me with that? Yeah. All right. 